Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love reading for Taurus. You could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Now, Taurus, please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed, and what that means is this could be something that you're doing or something that's going on around you. This could be something your person is doing or going on around them. This could be a family member or a friend that's going through this and you just happen to know about it, okay? Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading that's tailored specifically to your energy, my email will be in the description box below. Um, I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me. So definitely take advantage of that. Okay, let's see. Um, also, Spirit wants me to let you know that some other messages outside of love may come through, okay? For some, I don't know what you guys got going on. So just be aware of that. So let's see. What's going on for Taurus and love, please, Spirit? What's going on for Taurus and love? What's going on for Taurus and love, please? Okay. We have the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have the Star, Aquarius. Okay. What else, please, for Taurus and love? What else, please, for Taurus and love, please, Spirit? We have the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else, please, is going on for Taurus and love? And we have the Page of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, so that is Aquarius energy. You could be having a really nasty fight with an Aquarius. Okay. All right. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It could be really any sign, but those are the, I'm seeing Aquarius very strongly here. You, there's, okay, with the Eight of Swords here in the upright, okay, this is knowing something, but not able to prove it, but knowing that you know something, okay? And this can talk about be, having healing and wish fulfillment, but also something going very public. So something could be, something that you maybe suspect, now again, this could be you or this could be your person. Somebody here is suspecting that something's going on that they don't know about, and it's they're wishing for it to come to light. They're wishing for it to be revealed, hopefully not publicly, but at least come to light where it's seen. Someone's worried about something being seen here because they know it's going to cause a very painful ending with the Ten of Swords. And a lot of people don't know the Ten of Swords, the reason why it's like that is because someone's been stabbed in the back ten times. There's no more room to stab this person in the back. There's no more room. Someone knows that they're, someone is worried about something becoming public and it causing an ending and them being rejected here. This talks about rejection. Okay. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please, for Taurus? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Taurus? Eight of Swords. Wow, that flew all the way over there. Judgment. Okay. We got Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Somebody here is worried about facing judgment for something going public, for something that was done. Okay. And they're really worried about being rejected here, Taurus. Show me the star card. What is the star card about? Star card, please. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo energy. Somebody here is worried about facing judgment and reaping what they've sown by something becoming very public. There is a final decision that someone does need to make, and I feel like it's about um, rejecting an offer here or no longer investing. There could be something coming to an end, whether you're ending it or somebody else is ending it, but it looks like it's a very painful one because somebody cannot be stabbed in the back anymore. There's no more room. Yeah, my nose is itching. There's no more room for someone to be stabbed in the back with. There's, there's no more room for another sword to fit, okay? Someone could be very worried about somebody making a final decision to reject them publicly, to no longer invest in them publicly, to, I'm not hearing, denounce them publicly. Um, or also someone's very worried about making a final decision and that they're going to reap what they've sown because it's going to come to a nasty ending. Someone's been betrayed here and they're rejecting the other person because of it. Show me the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here, please? Okay, you have two. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
and we have the six of wands in the reverse leo energy so someone if someone comes in to apologize for betraying you okay betraying you here stabbing you in the back they come in to apologize all right they're saying that they're very shameful for what they've done but with the knight of cups in reverse it's it's not sincere apology someone is not sincere for hurting you or you know Taurus in some cases you're not sincere for hurting somebody else there is rejection here and there's shame around it for some reason I feel like it's due to betrayal show me the page of coins reverse please page of coins reverse why is it here please page of coins reverse why is it here please page of coins reverse Knight of Wands reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is rejecting somebody because they can't seem to act right. Somebody is rejecting an offer from someone who is very in and out. Someone who can be, be a bit of a player. Say one thing, but do a complete opposite. Okay. Let's see. Let's see the other person. Actually, I want to get more on the Knight of Wands reverse. One second. Show me the Knight of Wands reverse, please. Knight of Wands reverse. Knight of Pentacles reverse. That is your energy. That's Taurus. Full stop here. This can talk about moving very slowly, but still coming in. But here in the reverse, that's full stop. That's digging your heels in. Somebody here is digging their heels in with this rejection of a player. They're not going to accept an apology because they know it's insincere. They're not going to try to heal anything. They're not going to invest in this anymore. There's, yeah. Well, let's see. Tell me more about Taurus and love. Tell me more about Taurus and love, please, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more, please. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Tell me more. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. All right, tell me more Taurus and love, please, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, we have the Justice card, Libra. Okay. And we have the World card in the reverse. Ooh. We have the Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. Something is very toxic. Something is very controlling, very obsessive, very obsessive, very codependent as well. You could be in a codependent relationship. Someone could be very codependent on you. You could be codependent on somebody else. But with the Queen of Swords here in the reverse, someone's bitter about somebody getting an offer. Someone's very bitter and very scorned about someone receiving an offer. Maybe, maybe that they didn't receive. Someone could also be lying to some form of legal system or an attorney or the police. Someone's lying about money as well. Or someone's very bitter about someone getting some form of finances here. Somebody doesn't want this to end, but they feel like the cycle isn't over. Somebody just wants fairness, but they're not being honest. Someone's bitter about somebody getting what they think is theirs. But the cycle hasn't completed itself yet. Something's very controlling, very toxic in the situation. And then with the two of, oh my gosh, okay, hold on. Okay, wow, all right. Let's see if I can hold this up. So we have the devil, the two of swords, the tower, and the ace of swords in the reverse. Somebody here is controlling the narrative because they have a choice to make. And someone's going to realize this, okay? And it's going to be a shock. To find out that somebody was lying the whole time. Okay. We got Capricorn, as I said, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And somebody here is going to be bitter because someone else get the, gets an offer that they didn't get, but it's fair. But the cycle still hasn't completed yet. Somebody's not able to let it go. Somebody just can't let something go or somebody go. Or they don't want to. Why is the Queen of Swords here in the reverse here for Taurus? 
Queen of Swords reversed, please, for Taurus. Four of Cups in the upright, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody's holding back love. Someone is giving somebody the silent treatment because they're bitter. Someone, yeah. Someone is holding back love or acknowledgement, communication even, because they're bitter, because somebody else has gotten an offer. Maybe even gotten proposed to. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. What is that about? Six of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody here is getting, making an offer towards a past person and someone is very bitter about that. They're very holding on very stubbornly. They're also um, very um, just bitter. I just keep getting bitter. You got somebody bitter around you. Well, you know, Taurus, I feel like this is you on this side. I feel like that you're making the decision to no longer invest in a situation anymore because you don't see a victory. Someone could apologize to you for stabbing you in the back or betraying you in some form or fashion. Okay. But I feel like you're just going to cold turkey them. And then, then this person is going to become very, very bitter because I feel like you're moving on to something better. I do not feel this person on this side does not want the cycle to complete itself. They don't. You might be heading back towards a past person. Why is the justice here? Or your person could be heading toward back to a past person. Show me the justice card. Why is it? Why is the justice card here? Please for Taurus. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles here, Taurus energy, and we also have the Moon card reverse. Cancer Pisces. So I feel like this person over here realizes that what you're doing is fair by by rejecting them and not accepting the offer by because of what you found out about this person. Because they betrayed you. So you're no longer going to invest in this person anymore. But this person doesn't want the cycle to complete. Why is the world card reverse? Why is the world card reverse? They know that you know the truth. Now we're back to the beginning, Eight of Swords. Before you started with the Eight of Swords, right? Stuck in your head about what to do, right? Now this person is stuck in their head because they don't want the cycle to end, but I feel like you're rejecting them because they betrayed you. They betrayed you. And with the tower in the reverse at the bottom of the deck, it doesn't look like it can be rebuilt at this time. It doesn't look like it can be rebuilt. Let me see. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more about the situation. King of Pentacles again in the upright. There you are. That's you, Taurus. Very stable, abundant here. Focusing in on yourself. Working very hard. What else, please? With the King of Cups reverse. Somebody was trying to manipulate you. Someone was actually... You know, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person, I get more Cancer with it. More Cancer energy. But it doesn't have to be. So this person was manipulating you. Emotionally manipulating you. Trying to control you. This person was juggling you. This person betrayed you. They were talking to other people that they kept hidden from you with the Six of Wands in reverse. They don't want the cycle to end because they don't want you giving new offers to somebody else. They don't want you to hold back an offer of commitment from them. Let me see if I can hold it. But I feel like you will because you're not going to be, a, you're not going to be, I feel like this is not the first time that this has happened. This is like the 10th time or it's been excessive, right? This person keeps betraying you over and over and over again. And I feel like you're just, you just had enough. You have literally just had enough with this person. You're not going to deal with it anymore. Mm -mm. Could also be dealing with a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. I get strong Cancer, Pisces, Leo, um, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio. <sighs> All right, but I feel like, I don't feel like it's over. I mean, this cycle hasn't completed yet. Someone's worried about this, it not being over or it becoming where it, where it ends. They're really worried about it. Um, all right, well, Taurus, I'm going to take this into the extended. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into this and see how it could potentially end. 
That link will be in the description box below to the extended as well as the comment section below. If you need or want to get a personal reading with me um, that's tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email will also be in the description box below. And I do give $10 off to my first time clients who get their first reading with me. So definitely check me out there. And if this is where we part ways, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Take care of yourself till next time. Bye.